Welcome back to the S Log. Live from northern Japan, this, this is S Log with Neil Hartman. Holy crap. Winter has arrived. It's opening day, and the snow came just in time. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. No time to wax, so I just pulled out the old manta ray and gave it a nice brushing. Should be okay for opening day. We are kicking off a new season, a new season of S-Logs. I'm really excited. I'm your host, Neil. It's mountain culture, snow culture, surf culture from the northern island of Hokkaido, Japan. That's my thing, that's where I'm at. We're gonna be doing once a week shows. They're gonna debut every Friday night here in Japan. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna to try to cover everything and anything that I do all winter long. Today is opening day at Saboro Kokusai. As always, I was ill-prepared for opening day. And it's an extra shock when we get like 50 centimeters, probably like close to at least a meter of snow on the mountain for opening day. So all of a sudden there's this mad panic, get the boots, get the helmet, get the goggles, get the wear, like, well, I don't even have a board, where are my bindings? I couldn't even find my, my one binding yesterday for 30 minutes. It was a mess. But somehow, I got it all together, I got all the gear in the car, we're on the way to the mountain. I'm pretty excited to see all the friends and the people who I only see in the winter. You know how it is, opening day is magic. car park is filling up fast. I'm very impressed with the turnout on a Friday opening day. Good job, everybody. Oh, she is son. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. First people out of the gondola on day one. It's the hardcore. Here we go. Hey! Oh, everybody I had my GoPro set up wrong on day one and didn't notice it's way too narrow it should be like on a super view so you can see these powder turns in their full glory but it's still kind of beautiful number two Yes, folks, I am kind of losing it here on my first run of the season, but it was so good. It was sunny, it was powder, I was the only one on the course. And then, my moment of true glory with this turn right here. I made it onto the local news. Oh, I felt that one. Yes, that's right. There was a TV crew waiting at the bottom of the run, and they were filming me. Yes, me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I even got on the TV. They're filming me. 今日から札幌国際スキー場の営業が始まり、多くの利用客でにぎわっています。札幌国際スキー場は雪不足のため予定より7日遅れてのオープンとなりました平日にもかかわらず朝からおよそ300人のスキー客でにぎわいましたやっと来ましたね<笑>最高でした最高でした最高,最高今日も初でどこが最高でしたあのまず一番に乗れたんで、はい、あのラインがない綺麗なパウダーをいきなり最初から滑れたんで感動的でした<笑>普通はね人いっぱい滑った後あるんで、えー、今日全然それなしで一番滑りで感動してた感動しました相当良かったです<笑>まあ、はい、3日前までね雪なかったから、えー、それも含めて一気に降ってくれたのは、えー、最高です I'm stoked my first powder turn of the season on TV and then I got interviewed by a local newspaper I felt like a star just for coming out for day one at the local resort. All right, give me the report, give me the report. <laughs> How was it? Nice and deep. Oh, yeah. You just like me like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. It is time for a quick episode of Studio Time. Yes, Studio Time. My favorite time of day. My favorite part of the show. Um, it's just me and my studio. I usually do these in Japanese and put them on the YouTube channel sometimes. Just me opening up boxes of new gear, talking about everything and anything.、Uh, today, I have two new items from GoPro that have arrived. I bought the GoPro 10 for this season.、Uh, right now, I'm shooting with the 9 for this, so we can work with the 10. I bought the mod setup. It says 9, but here you can see it says、uh, 10 compatible. And then I bought the Max Lens Mod. So let's put that on real quick. Quality of the audio. First of all, you got that little wind resistant mic. Since I'm always outside, I'm snowboarding, following people around on the mountains, it's usually windy. The sound quality has always been really crappy. And I thought maybe this would help. Max Lens Mod, wider angle, better stabilization. With the head cam, get the whole board in. I just like the thought of that. There's our little foam cover. It comes with screw. Do you know how many of these I have? Another one of these? Do you know how many of these I have? Okay, let's see how this works. I hate to look at manuals. Okay, it opens up. I think what you have to do is you have to take, comes off quite easily, clicking it in there. And then that closes and it becomes a little bigger. But, you know, as I said, maybe some insulation. I don't know. It has the little mounts on the side. You can put a light, you can put a thingy here. Ah, very cool. Very cool. I like it. This is my new look. This is going to be the 2022 look. Pretty sure the sound quality is going to make a big difference.、Um, I think that's really the key to. Like professional video compared to amateur video, it's a sound issue. You know, it's like anybody can go and shoot good stuff, but can you get really good sound quality? A little tiny lens cloth. The lens comes with a tiny little lens cloth, so you can clean your lens very nicely and lose this immediately. Gone. It's a, it's a wide angle lens that goes on the GoPro to give you a 155 degree field of view. That's pretty darn wide. Installing Max Lens Muff. Remove the Hero 9 black protective lens by turning it one quarter turn in either direction. Aha!、Uh -huh. See, now you don't have to read the manual, you just listen to me. Place Max Lens Mod over your camera's lens. Make sure that the camera's mounting plate is properly lined up with the slots on the back of the Max Lens Mod mounting plate. Gotcha. Press and rotate one quarter turn clockwise to lock it in. Make sure that Max Lens Mod is properly installed and sealed before using your camera. It's on! Woo, looking good. Look at that beast. Definitely makes it heavier, but I mean, it's tiny. It's not like it ain't as heavy as that. Hero Black 10 with mod case and the、uh, Max Lens mod. Okay? So I'm as mod as you can get. 
Wow, pretty cool. Having a GoPro now is like nothing. It's like, it doesn't mean anything. It's like, there's no status in that. But having a GoPro with a mic and a badass lens, hey, I'm back in the game. Real quick look, max lens mod on. But apparently my GoPro 10 needs to be updated to the latest software to actually use the lens properly. Right now it's all like weird looking. So there's always something. It's Saturday. Kashmir's taking her first run of the season. Where is she? There she is. It's day two of this season and already it's like mid-January kind of conditions. Deep, soft, creamy powder. Ah, just, ah, yeah, it's amazing. This was a really fun run. The plan was just to take a nice season starter run with my youngest daughter. Some of the local crew, some friends saw us and said, oh, we want to come with you guys. We want to ski with Kashmir as well. And just that fact alone that, you know, people you, you sort of know, but don't know that well. They'll still want to hook up with you and take a run and share a gondola and talk and chat. That's really what I love about the whole mountain culture here. It's really friendly and mellow. You know, I spent years filming top high-end professional skiers and snowboarders. I love that aspect, it's really fun. But I also love riding with my daughters, mellow runs, just linking up with friends. It's such a part of the culture and the community. I really, really have a good time. Looks like it snowed a little bit today. Wow. It's like at least 20 to 30 centimeters here. Check that out. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get out of here. Welcome to my second studio, my outdoor studio, my carport studio. This is the carport. It's a workspace. Got skis, got snowshoes, got waxing gear, wood working equipment, all the snowboarding stuff. I got my snow blower, gasoline, a stand to wax some boards on. And that's about what I'm gonna do right now. Um, we're a family of five, three daughters. They all ski and snowboard. So that's a ski and a snowboard each. Then I got a bunch of boards myself. My wife snowboards a couple times a year now. I gotta get everybody's stuff ready. And it's a huge, huge project. This is just the beginning. So we built this house about four years ago and I've slowly been developing the carport space. I don't think I'll ever be able to park my van in there ever again. I love the space. I love having all the gear. You can be dirty, and get messy, do whatever you want. It's kind of a, you know, it's the man cave for sure. And I just love spending time in there. So you'll be seeing a lot more of this uh, carport this winter. That's for sure. Okay, that's it for today. And it's pretty much it for this episode. It's been a great first week of winter. First snow, opening at the resort, opening the cafe, 
getting new gear, uh, camera setups, board setups, ski setups, just like thinking, wow, here we go. Winter has kicked in. I got my, you know, my snowblower out. I kind of feel sort of ready and we're about to take off. And I don't know, we'll see how many weeks it goes. I hope you enjoy these shows. I'm gonna try to keep doing it once a week again, at least every Friday in the evenings, uh, local time here in Japan. And uh, it's gonna be everything and anything. Whatever happens to me that week, that's what I'm gonna shoot, that's what I'm gonna edit, and that's what's gonna be on the show. Um, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> oh, another great day at Kokusai. Some sunny runs there with the, the family. A quick plug for our business, our cafe at the top of the mountain here at Sapporo Kokusai. When you get out of the gondola, you will see the building right away. Please stop by. I'm there quite a bit. We have been managing the cafe since last year. We do really high quality coffees, espressos, lattes, uh, sandwiches, muffins, sweets, and of course, one of Hokkaido's best soft ice creams. There's nothing like eating a really delicious soft ice cream while looking at this view of Sapporo and the Ishikari Bay. Please stop by when you visit the top of Sapporo Kokusai.
Genten Showroom, Niseko. Time to buy new boots. Thief! Thief! Get him! He's still on the board! New boots. Jimmy got a board cover. We are the first customers at the Genten showroom in 2022. Yeah, killed it. Oh, and by the way, today's music uh, is an ambient track I found on YouTube and it was like 23 minutes long. I thought, wow, that's perfect. I make the whole episode to this one ambient track and uh, I, I just thought it was kind of a cool idea. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like the music, um, I'll put the artist credit in the description below the movie, like everyone does. And that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed week number one of the SL. We'll be back next week with another exciting and fun-filled episode. Until then, stay waxed. Is that a cool ending? Thanks for tuning in, everyone. You're watching this See you next week.